Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on SABC3. It's a Friday <laughs> morning. We feel all kinds of happy this morning. Bobby, feel yeah, all man. kinds of happy as well, man. We love this little dude. We do, and yeah. we've loved him for seven long years, and Can we've realized through his integration into our family that some angels just simply choose to have fur instead of wings. <laughs> He's our four-legged little angel who joined us seven years wow. ago. And when he arrived, he, st he completely stole the hearts of all of us here in the studio, all of you at home, and it's not hard to see why. I mean, just look at that face. He's so cute. He's so cute. Now, if one thing is certain, uh, it's that he really does mean, to <laughs> mean the world to all of us. And we just wanted, Bob, we wanted you, okay, to experience the love and for all of the nation mm. to know how we feel about he's, him. So. He's, he's listening. He's okay, listening. So, so listen up. This is for you, Bob. <laughs> this is for you. You know, Bob, he grew up to be a fine man, a really fine man, but there's nothing better than puppy playtime. And I remember the first time Bob arrived at the Expresso Studios, he was the most adorable puppy. And ever since then, I loved him. I loved him so much. He is a brilliant, brilliant pup then and a man now. He's literally part of the family. My favorite memory of Bob would have to be one of our very first photo shoots that we did with him when he was but a little baby. He was so, so, so cute. But also back in the day, we used to dress him up and you know, he was a good sport. He took it all in his stride, but he made the cutest little model. So, so much fun. He's always up for anything. Undoubtedly, my favorite was having that pre-wedding chat with him as I was about to preside over his wedding to Bella, and of course he was nervous, as you would be going into your wedding house, helping him put his little doggy tux on it. We had such a beautiful chat. He's an intense dog, but he's just so lovely and quite emotional being, I think. Bob is that constant calm in the storm. That's what he brings to this set there. We could have one of the most frantic Friday shows, everyone running around, thousands of guests, but as soon as Bob steps onto the studio floor, it's almost as if everyone kind of stops, pauses, calms down, focuses on him. And then as soon as he's gone, it just all starts all over again. He brings an incredible calm love into our studio. We are so lucky to be able to have animals on set every single day. And there's just something calming and therapeutic about Bobby. He's just got this calm nature about him. Whenever the show is done and he is taking a little snooze on the couch, I love to take that moment to grab a little selfie with him. But it's just, it's fun to cuddle with him straight after a hectic live show. How does it I make mean, you feel, Bobby? Bob, oh. Bobby. You know, actually looking back at all those moments and, and really thinking about it, it's actually quite emotional. Very, man. Very. I mean, look, look at him. He's such a, a stand-up guy now, you know? And, and Bobby, does, do you feel good? Do you, how, how does that make you feel, Bob? He's a French bulldog hey? everyone can be proud of. Absolutely. Even everyone in France. Absolutely. I can't believe he's seven, though. Seven <laughs> years old. Look,